Okie doke everyone, so what am I doing today? Filling up finally the columns of this wall So I have to do it little by little because um, I don't have too much planks or clamps And uh, I don't want to buy any more boards and clamps, you know <laughs> Try and save on all this Okay, so this one will be full today Those ones will be a little bit full Then next time I can fill entirely those two and uh, this one over here this one's more complicated because i have to make a box outside put some steel in there attach it to here and uh, block it from the other side so yeah so the planks from this one that's going to be finished today so we'll be finished one two columns and next time we'll finish three columns and then we only have two more to go okay and we're good um I'm really starting to put the fence over here on this side. You guys see? Really starting to put the fence on this side here to cover this little part out. It's like almost two meters. No. Yes, yeah, almost two meters. Um, and then I'm going to use the rest for the whole other side. But that has to be all cemented already. Um, so, yes, so this will be at least closed until here. Like their kids and everything, you know, when they come, nephews, they won't like jump over the wall. So that's safety privacy first. Then I got to cement this a little bit more with whatever is left over. And uh, I am already whew, exercise. Okay, if you guys want to save on money on the gym and on expensive labor, do this. Okay, excellent exercise. Excellent for the wallet. <laughs> uh, I already put like half of that mountain right there. Um, so it went from the grape plants uh, up to here. So I don't know if it's going to give for everything. I might stop over here with the rest. I don't know if it's going to do the whole thing. But I still have to cement the rest of this. The stopper for the stones so today i'm also going to fill up that and i should probably just pause it and i gotta go eat okay coming okie dokie gotta go eat i'm quite hungry and then put cement a barrier right here and fill this with white stone so i might do this barrier and fill this first like that this is complete and then I'll keep on building white stones on that side. So yes, that's the plan. Okay, dog, everyone. So um, doing here the rest of the cement. Got a bit of the There you go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And uh, yeah, very very hot today. Um, extremely. Difficult to work today, not easy. So let me flip the camera to the other side. I think it's easier. Yes, there we go. Now it's better. <laughs> um, okay, so I already got the patch of cement barrier here. Now I'm just going to fill this with white rocks. Um, the fly catchers are working, but now I'm further apart from them, quite far away from it. So they taking me on this side. But uh, I don't really stay in this side too long just to do the cement because I'm doing the white stones over there, of course. So, yeah, I'm gonna put the rest of this cement. Yeah, this flies. <laughs> Imagine hot, tired, and having flies bugging you. It's the worst thing there is. They always got to the face, I don't know why. Okay. There you go. It's actually a small mixer that I bought at the time and it uh, came very very handy. So yes, it's been doing all the cement work out here. So for a small mixer, it was really worth it. <laughs> Couldn't uh, invest too much you know, in a bigger... And I also can't carry, you know I'm doing it alone so I can't really carry like... Uh, a big load of cement you know so this fills up one wheelbarrow I didn't do too much cement now but normally 
I bought three buckets. Uh, it's one of cement. I bought one of these buckets of cement right here. And um, then I bought two of those. That's a rock with sand and one of sand. See? Yeah. And that's been the, a good mix for me. Um, it's been working well. So, yes, let's get on to this. Continue. Are you cutting the. trying to cut that branch? <laughs> I'll help you just now. <laughs> Multitasking. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Let's go. One, welcome to the Day Life Project channel. <laughs> okay, so almost done. Uh, a bit tiring. Wow, the hair really has to be cut. Don't have time, eh? Always have to make um, do something, you know. <laughs> so look at that, guys. All full of white stones, just like told you guys I was gonna do and finally finally yes uh, just need this last part right here so for the last like 15 minutes 20 minutes I already put all these one two three four five six seven uh, I think I just need another one two three four four cars and it's done uh, got to ready the cement barrier on this side as you can see so the stones can't jump to that side um, and then with time they'll just settle down you know just like everywhere else I also got a big surprise for you guys check it out yes our chickens <laughs> so I finally got the breed I wanted Brahma uh, speckled color which is very rare um it's a new color on brahmas no little ones <laughs> they want to come out wait i gotta take the video for content <laughs> oh my little beauties okay my little beautiful boy and girl so um this is a brahma <laughs> i think you guys want a little bit of uh snacks hey snacks i give like fruits vegetables a little bit of bread they have a lot of food right there, just like you guys know. Automatic water, they got a lot of food for every day. Um, but they're going crazy on little snacks like me coming here, you know, giving them a little bit of bread, a little bit of fruit. They just like the attention. That's why I like the Brahmas a lot. Um, so as you guys know, they got the food, they got the automatic water. Um, but they love attention and they like me to come and give them a little bit of bread and everything else, you know, some vegetable, fruit. So they were a bit scared in the beginning, now they really got a test. That's why I like Brahmas a lot because they're very tamed, domesticated, um, very kind. And they love attention, they love cuddles, so they're quite cool. Um, so that's a Brahma. She's a. Uh, uh, in English you call it uh, it's like the let me see it's not the golden it's not the buff it's a partridge Brahma color okay the golden necklace partridge Brahma very beautiful looks like a golden tiger leopard color look at that very beautiful look at those beautiful feathers and these guys are the speckled ones it's a new color very rare and very hard to actually um, breed them into this color it takes a, a long time many years um, so they would only sell me the couple male and female um, but because I knew they were very small they needed like a, a mother example so he sold me this female which is so tamed and such a i was so blessed because she's like she's young she's like uh i'd say four months maybe um f maybe f between four and five she's still not laid eggs yet so she's still very young and um she thinks they they her babies so they're her babies so she takes care of them uh, cuddles them at night keeps them warm so I was blessed because at least they survive you know because I was worried them alone 
I do have a temporary curtain which I close every night. I come and tuckle them in um, and close them. They, they go in when it's later at night. Then I just give them a little bit of cuddles, close the curtain, and they're good. Um, so that they also like get used to a person, you know. Because when the rooster's big, I want him to be like always everyone's friend. And uh, my idea is, I've got already curtains there on the floor that I managed to weld them. Um, so today I want to put the curtains up. And you, I'll show you guys just now how the curtains are. And now my idea is to get another little chicken... Um, house in here one of those wooden ones that you actually already buy with the little ramp and the little wooden house because uh, I already got a picking um, Ursa speckled picking um, chicken she's very beautiful but she's like their age so I want to bring it in so that she can also be her mother uh, one day when this guy's big the rooster he can I can breed him with her and uh, and with her and eventually the males bring a lot of the DNA so if I'm blessed she will end up her babies also with time being speckled or else I have her babies which will be speckled so then I'll have to like just be careful to not mix the eggs and stop breeding because I want to breed the Brahma speckled uh, color I would just want to have that one you see and the Peking speckled Peking she will be the one hatching the eggs because I like to hatch them in the natural way because they're very small chickens so she can like normally I always put food and water for her every single day they, she will eat that's what I normally do the chicken eats the food uh, drinks a bit I even wet sometimes bread and everything keep her hydrated and and everything and she hatches eggs that was my past experience and uh, the chickens just come like stronger you know it's different the natural way um, in a machine it also works it's quicker if you need to breed in bigger quantities <laughs> they're attacking my car <laughs> and um, it will be very very cool but I have to then have a little house for her so that she can have her own accommodation and that male doesn't like try to breed with her because I also have a male of that one but I'm not going to bring him in because we're going to have this rooster and I don't want them like you know fighting and trying to pick on one each other they won't be together but through the fence you know how chickens are roosters um so that will be the idea then maybe i can have the rooster with the picking in the little house i just have to make like a plan um see how it all goes but that rooster is already a bit older i wanted to get one the age of this one so that they could get used to one another you know so let's see how that goes um, all right, so I'll just breed the Brahmas and not the Peking. Um, I'll have to make a plan. <laughs> or just have the male rooster, Peking, to like breed with her. And then uh, because I'm doing this strategy with uh, with um, some of the family, so he's also got Pekings for himself. And I can bring the male, let him uh, reproduce with her and then take it back to him. And like that we have no confusions here you know so this is something we're going to like keep on um following it will be very fun very cool and um i think you guys will enjoy it more content and how beautiful are they now, if you're wondering where the old chicken is she's in another house down there with a lot of space uh, because i have to um vaccinate her deparasites her before she comes in with these ones because these ones have been vaccinated deparasitized and I don't want her like to contaminate these ones and vice versa so the reason why she's not here is because she's like in quarantine okay like that is safe for all of them then I have to introduce her slowly um, so that she gets used to them I don't want her like picking on them but because these ones now know that this is their territory she lost her territory here and when she comes back in she'll be calmer normally that's what i used to do so yes um okay i'm gonna get something for you guys because you guys are going crazy my little oh you're gonna unloose my <laughs> my laces <laughs> they are so cool i really like brahmas the more attention you give to your chickens the more friendly they become and super cuddly it's so cool so yes, we are on success everyone. 
So now I'm going to finish putting the rocks there. Get something for these little guys and for her. Um, they have eight a lot, but they just like these little treats. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Come on, guys. Now you're going to make me tie my laces again, eh? It's amazing. I don't know what they think it is, but it's more work for me, right? <laughs> you crazy chickens. <laughs> Oh man, crazy chickens. I need to get a camera because this phone has excellent camera. Uh, Samsung Ultra is like excellent. I'll always go with that model. And uh, But I need a camera just to like get the better voice because my voice sometimes I notice when I'm editing the videos. It's not really um, strong sometimes, you know. It's like sometimes it's a bit weaker, sometimes stronger. So I have to, I am going to work on that. I'm looking for cameras. On Amazon see which is the best with the microphone and whatever I don't think I can use a microphone because working it's not gonna work so I'll have to see what is the best thing to do the videos if you guys have any like um, uh, opinions uh, just put it in the comment section I appreciate it and uh, yes let's keep on growing let's go <laughs> um, also going to follow up with the um, Ford Raptor review um, and some cool upgrades I'm going to do on the Ford Raptor as well so we are working on the Sax and the Ford Raptor the RX-8 is done for now the um, Honda Civic is done for now the Jeep I still have to paint the front parts of the Jeep um, get that part done and um, what else and then the reps i have some cool upgrades i want to do the saxo so i have a just very few things so that project is almost over <clears throat> then i might just like get the painting done and stuff like that okay now it's my sock and uh, <laughs> uh yes so we have some cool little cool upgrades to do on the car still um just so i wanted to let you guys know that will be on the saxo on the Jeep and on the Ford. Those are the three main upgrade project car we'll be working on on the following videos. Um, RX-8 and Honda are like good. Only the Honda I need to fix up the seats, but I'm looking if I'm going to either get a new seat or just upholstery them, you know. I'm still looking for a seat because the passenger seat would be easier. Just change that one, you know. So yes, let's keep on working here. Uh, and it's almost food time. <laughs> Let's go. Okie dokie. So, got all the white stone in place. Looks beautiful. Uh, finally, garden done. Okay, projects outside are all finished. Uh, now, once November comes, I'm going to plant more fruit trees. Here, there's an avocado tree right there. Also got that one planted. I have another one to plant. Now I've got to choose a place at the back for that one. Because I don't want another avocado tree here in the front. But you've got another one growing down there. So I'm going to choose somewhere at the further back. And uh, I'm trying to get a branch of this plum tree to grow there. Let's see how it goes. This one, this plant that we took from the front. is saw a plum tree, red plum tree, picked up. The peach branch. The branch from the peach tree didn't pick up so now I'm trying the plum tree this one here because I love these plums they white but they're big and juicy and uh, I also plant some branches of wild berries that I had to cut from the front there because it's going too big and I put them in the ground let's see what happens so I'm trying to I know there are specific techniques you should like um, put it in a bit of sand or take cut a bit of the branch and with like a shell with some dirt around so it can get some roots and everything but I don't have time to do all that <laughs> so I just put them in the ground and see if someone one of them catches let's see what happens um, so yes garden is done now I have to take all this stuff out of here get it cleaned up blow with the blower machine all the leaves because it's been full it's getting cold now at night our little beautiful drummers Yes, I'm going to come here to show everyone. Don't worry, guys. I'll show them. And, uh, yes, fix all this up. 
tidy this all up. I still have to use some of that for the column at the front of the fence. Remember that fence that I did? I'm already building the column structure. Um, so I'm still going to use some of that and some of that. And that's one there. I'm going to put like in a bucket the white sand because I need it for touch-ups. Uh, but I want to keep it intact. It's very little amount so I can easily just tuck it away in, a, in some buckets. I'm going to get a big bucket for that one. And this I have to get a, I have a plastic top hole there to cover that, rest of that, that's going to still be some of that, and that, like that I don't have to buy for the next little projects that might come up. Still going to scrape the rest of this to patch up on some places. The wall at the back is already finished, got all the columns up, all the vertical columns up. So next stage is to make a thin horizontal column, okay, to reinforce the top and then just put the fence that's right there and I have more fence tucked away in case that's not sufficient to finish this part of the wall. Uh, the wall right down there that fell also with the weather, that's I'm going to um, get someone to do because it's too far away and for me to do on my own, just the traveling back and forward will be very hard. And of course, I have machines to build for more content and um, car stuff. So I also have to dedicate myself to that. But this was a super interesting project. I saved a lot of money on this part. And now right down there, I have to get someone. Because I also need them to bring like a, a little bobcat to excavate the ground to make a stronger foundation. Because the ground just goes deeper, you know. So I need some heavy equipment, which I don't have. And it's not worth me renting it or anything. Not worth buying, of course. Could buy a car with that price. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get someone that will do that because they have hard, heavy equipment and they can do that much easier. Uh, which I could do, but it will take me months. And now summertime, I only have September and it's not sufficient time, you know. Um, compost is going well. The compost. It's already like... Uh, it's, I wouldn't say, it's still not a quarter full, but it's going well. All the bacteria and bugs and everything are decomposing everything. So this is all done at the back. The only project now I have to do is a swimming pool. So for my part, everything's done. Oh, and cover the greenhouse. I have to cover up the greenhouse as well. Yes. Got to cover up the greenhouse now. <laughs> my dad was whistling like a crazy bird. <laughs> He's very happy doing a barbecue. And uh, cover up with um, hard plastic. Okay, transparent, uh, polycarbonate, plastic. Waiting on a quote for the um, hard plastic. And I have to also weld some steel tubing all around so that then I can tighten up the plastic onto the whole greenhouse, you know. Uh, also got to make a structure for the top part so that I can just put it flat, you know. So I have to study the structure, get the structure ready first. And then start with the plastic. So... I want to start doing that, okay, the swimming pool only next year. So the only projects I really have outside is the covering the greenhouse. That's it. And it's all done. This used to be a jungle and now we have a beautiful garden where we can just spend our time. Oh, I've got to cut these wires because I'm not going to use electricity on these lamp poles here anymore. These are going to be solar. I saw online, very similar to these ones but solar. And I'm going to invest on two. I'm going to buy two actually today so that I can do this as on the next video. Change these two for solar and get all these cables which are not running electricity. As you can see, everything's off. Um, I'm going to cut the cables, okay, take them out and change these. Maybe I'll have to do some fit and turning, a special accessory there. Let's see how they come and see if we can just fit them straight on. So that will be on the next video. And these guys, the chicken palace is ready. <laughs> they always go crazy. Today we're ready to get them some snacks. So they're going crazy. Isn't it my little boy and girl? Little, little, little. <laughs> they're so cute. Even she lets me pet her now. So they're really getting used to it. So, curtains. Finally got the curtains. Okay. Uh, strong reinforced fiber PVC okay 
uh, it's all welded by radio frequency the machines that we do um, so I, I'm reusing like um, this patched up um, top hold that I had had to do some um, some changes on it to make sure it was all well reinforced and everything else you know um, so what I did is I just hooked it up there on the steel frame took the rest instead of cutting it so that it could cover me double here where I have the cement blocks okay so that it doesn't wear and tear the plastic like this we have this reinforcement double reinforcement um, and uh, I lift it up a little bit so that they can pass underneath so I was going to leave it to the floor but then having to every day pick up the the curtain you know and fold it up it would be a hassle so I just put some stainless steel screws washers um, with the anti-loosening nut so that it doesn't fall off and that you can swallow it so that's all safe um, just to make like um, fold it up and make a certain weight so that it stays um, straight you know and keeps the weight against the wall so yes um, taking the the rooftop out was a hassle I don't like doing that because uh, you gotta take the whole thing out <laughs> um, so that was the hardest part um, but at least it's better than having a normal curtain because this is like ultra resistance UV weather conditions everything they use it outside as you see on beach ports and um, houses everything supermarkets you know everything that's covering the rain they use this material so it's very good quality it's got the window so that they still have clarity inside which is also what I wanted you know so that the sun gets inside and also just you know UV lights infects a bit of everything you know so this I think it's a great solution for the chickens they are happy they're really going there I uh, broomed this today and I'm going to take the rest of the hay, the hay that came out from here. Because I put new hay, then they went crazy and spilled it out. So what I do is I take this, and then I put it in the compost. So it's all a win-win situation. So yes. Um, very cool. Very cool. It's actually like, that's why I like to like um, reuse um, all stuff. Because um, it's a recycling method, you know. <laughs> okay, you guys are... You guys are, are like um, going nuts on the shoes. Why? <laughs> Little ones. <laughs> and then they prick the sock. And it hurts. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's calm down, my beauties. Okay. <laughs> it's a good thing that they like coming next to us. Like they will have a good relationship with them even when they're growing up, you know? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where to go see the sock it hurts. <laughs> okay, everyone chill. <laughs> she keeps the distance but the little babies go crazy. Look at that. I don't have food on my shoes, I just gave you snacks. I can't give you more little snacks, you know. You have to eat the your proper food over there. Come on. It's good for you. It's got all the vitamins, calcium, minerals. Okay? <laughs> they don't let me do the vid. And for here, for them to sleep, um, these are two bricks that I'm using just for when it's sunny. I bring the curtain down. I didn't. I don't have to put the curtain up, you know, because um, the way it's done, uh, they actually even today I tested it out and they come out easy. So this is how it stays when it's all closed up. You see. So I didn't even have to use hooks because there's this cement framing underneath um, all I have to do is put this on top and this is has fiber inside the whole way so I can take the weight of this no problem whatsoever and it won't wear and tear easy so I have also another one with a bigger window because this was a very long one okay so what I did is I cut it in half and uh, when this one goes then I still have another one so to, this morning they came out through here and they can also come out through the side if they want so this is just to keep them from the cold wind and the rain you know um, in case it comes south 
so yes they're very happy i always like to have curtains with the chickens and these are actually the best curtains i've ever had so yes see it's very 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 tough and strong this material so the cool thing is that i, I didn't even have to do anything here it's just simple i can't take this bit underneath this one because this one has cement so this one is hard stuck there so it had to be like this and uh, it was a blessing okay for everything super happy i was going to buy um those softer curtains like the bathroom ones um but then i decided um not because it's much weaker and it's not made for uv and stuff like that so this is really just like I told you guys, project of the chicken palace done. I didn't have time to paint the chicken palace. I could paint it like white, you know, and everything. Uh, tell me what you guys think, if I should get it painted or not. Um, the only thing is that if I have to modify anything, because I might have like different ideas to do. If I don't paint it, at least I can just throw cement and build it in a different way, you know. Like add stuff to it if I need it uh, once it's painted it's much harder of course so that's why the only reason I didn't paint is because I might have to modify something and I wanted to keep that option open you know um, what else so yes yeah that's basically it everything's good everything's strong and um, just uh, reuse everything so less material we use you know the less money we waste and i always like to reuse stuff you know like uh, like i said it's like a recycling method okay you are very good on taking getting my shoes loose can't stop for very long or they just keep on pricking me <laughs> so i'm going to pick up this amount of hay put it in the compost and that's it guys the other chicken is going to come next week the speckled multicolor picking and i'm going to get the other house next week the other chicken house just for her okay i'm not in a rush because she's more like them um but once they start laying the eggs then i'm going to get i'm already going to buy the other chicken house where i'm going to put it more or less here okay so that's one's made to be outside it's got its only little rooftop and everything and we can separate the newborn babies from the adults so that there's no stress no problem no one gets hurt safe okay so there you go guys projects are all done and now i just have to clean up a bit the little the place get all the material building construction materials and everything all tucked away and that's it just enjoy the garden thank you jesus for this opportunity and hope you guys enjoy the contents on it and uh, now it will be all about cars got a lot of content on cars um, and then um, on the headquarters like machine projects technological projects engineering projects so hope you guys also enjoy that and then the greenhouse will keep on covering it to show you guys and keep on planting new stuff for winter you know because now we can plant in winter as well got this double locking so that if someone by mistake opens the outside the inside is also locked okay extra protection for them they are our little babies and uh, in winter I keep to I like to keep on planting in winter that's why I want to cover it up at least if I can just cover it until let's say like a meter and a half two meters high I'll be happy okay because it won't be cold getting in wind uh, no bugs, no anything, and I can reuse the rain that comes to water the stuff But I can actually cover this side as well already and that's us. So yes little by little I'll start on the sides and we'll keep on going Okay guys, so that's about it Really getting along the video, but it has to be long to explain all this stuff, you know, so our Watermelons are growing fine our melons Everything is going fine. I have to put more lettuce, but I want to make sure I'm still in time to put them. It's still quite hot. I'm sure September I can still take a lot of lettuce. So I'm going to plant more lettuce now because we ate all those. 
and I'll uh, see what else I can. I need the uh, cabbages for Christmas. Remember, I told you in, in Christmas we do cabbages for a nice recipe. I'll show you guys. Look at this tomato. That's huge. We call it the bull's heart tomato. <laughs> Sometimes it grows double, like twins, right? Joined together. Yeah, like this one here. You see this? Look how big this one's going to be. Because it looks like a heart. That's why they call it the bull's heart, because it's the size of a bull's heart and has the shape of a heart you see so yes excellent and I also planted there the wild berries let's see if they grow okay guys so let's go to the next part of the video and uh, thank you guys for all the support you've been giving me let's just keep on rolling with these videos and uh, a bit different content um, but more content that's it that's the important thing <laughs> if there's anything else you guys want me to like do video different type of content just put in the comments and I'm pleased to apply okay um, I was thinking of selling the sexo teacher and sexo but uh, because one subscriber s said he enjoys a lot of those cars so there you go I'm gonna keep the sexo keep on doing stuff on it so that's what it's all about it's all to keep you guys entertained um i like doing this the videos editing i just love working so <laughs> okay guys let's keep on going just show you guys the compost as well because we also did that on a video once see just put the hay in there so look at all that fruits all those flies all those bugs just you know Letting nature be itself and have some free dirt to do plantation, everyone. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not even caught, so you see. So, this will give a lot of dirt. So, it takes time. Uh, it's very humid because the fruit we've been brewing is very humid. So, we didn't even have to actually like hose it down, you know, put some water inside. Although, sometimes with the buckets or the hose pipe from there because now it's long. I just water it up. It, you can't let the compost dry. All the bacteria will die. Okay, that's just like on the ground, on the land. If there's no water, bacteria die. They need water to keep their balance, you know, in the ecosystem. And uh, if there's no water, it just doesn't work. So you got to keep it humid. It's quite gets warm inside there, so it's fermenting. That's a good sign. Soon we'll have these massive mushrooms that grow here, which are quite amazing. They're the size of a plate. Yes, a dinner plate. Uh, we don't eat them, of course, because I don't know nothing about the mushrooms, unless I buy them in the shop. <laughs> this was actually a bird. I told you guys in the previous video. Uh, a bird took this down. The pecker. Pecker to the to this whole tree down. Just broke. Uh, it did so many holes, it just destroyed the tree. So this tree, I don't know if it's going to survive. Still gave apples. Amazing, eh? See, that's the proof to, no matter what happens to us, we always have space to give fruit in our life. Okay. Um, these cactuses are also thriving in here. So they like this. They just like grow. Um, it's crazy surviving like no like no ground no dirt no nothing it's just water that's it uh, i never have to hose them i never have to water them they just do it on themselves they have a beautiful orange flower so the mushrooms will be growing more or less there around there and there then i'll show you guys once it rains a lot you guys will see it's quite interesting it's more like october november as you can see just got an hour do the horizontal column, reinforce it with steel, and good to go. That's the easiest part. I have to buy some long plank wood planks now so I can do it, you know. And that's it. See, very easy to do yourself. If I did that on my own, and um, I'm not very strong or anything, <laughs> uh, anyone can do it, you know. All you need is time. Uh, and patience to learn new things and that's it 
It's locking up the gates here. Oh, okay. These are the wild berries. I would love them if they grew here. It would be cool. Because these have, oh, just like the front ones, no thorns. See? That's the best type of berries you can have is the no thorn ones. <laughs> okay, everyone. Let's keep on going.